Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Greedo, the Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on. It'll take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. For those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. So you thought I was done with bounty hunters, did you? Well, that's a horrible attitude to take. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I want to do this one. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to do more. We have a lot more to go. Um, there's, I'm going to do Cad Bane. I'm going to do Aura Singh. All kinds of bounty hunters. There's more than just the illustrious five, right? Or six. Five? Six. The illustrious six. Um, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, I'm excited. I'm super excited to be able to do more. I love these bounty hunters. I mean, who doesn't love a good bounty hunter, right? I mean, that's the crazy thing about them is they're, they're weird and wacky and and uh, and who knows, you know? And that also means that, you know, what if we see more? Who's going to come back? And I mean, obviously, Greedo is it? Who's going to come back in, uh, in the book of Jabba the Hutt? The book of Boba Fett. I said that because he took over. Well, ooh, no spoilers. You you need to watch The Mandalorian, right? Um, uh, anyway, anyway, I'm excited about it, so I want to see where they're going to go with it. I want to see who comes back. What are they going to do? If he's going to have his own story? If this is just going to be just a quick, you know, one and done? But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited about it. So yeah, I want to see what they're going to do. So anyway. Um, that's that's why I wanted to do Greedo. We're gonna do more, more bounty hunters. More, more, more. Give us more Star Wars. You know, I'm gonna get on a Star Wars soapbox real fast. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some complaints and praises and just talk about it in general. Now that it's done, now that it, we've seen it all, uh, you know, <laughs> I think they could have done the the sequel the sequels a little bit better and I'll just say it right now even though I'm happy that we have more Star Wars I would have been happy if they just would have taken a whole new route and given us all new stories of all new characters not try to wrap up a a Skywalker saga you know what I mean uh, this proves that I'm 100% happy with uh, new characters, new stories, and and uh, you know, basically new 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 direction is what I'm trying to say. So I think that's why I get so excited about you know, uh, and it doesn't have to be you know more job at not more. I keep wanting to say job of the hut. It doesn't have to be the same. Uh, um, Boba Fett it doesn't have to be characters we already know new ones you know new stories because I'm I'm ready for new stuff is basically what I'm trying to say and and you know a majority of, of the stories that are happening right now they're they're pandering to try to make all the complainers happy and they need to stop doing that and just make new stuff that's really what it comes down to I get it there's money makers and there's people that They've, they've figured this out. They said, well, this is what people want. This is what we got to give them. And this is how we're going to make money. Yes, you need to make money because you are a company. And that's what you're trying to do. Make money. I get it. I super get it. But again, it's time. It's time to move on. Give us new stuff. Because you can't do the same thing over and over again. And expect different results. That I do believe that is the... the uh, the meme version of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results, right? So, give us new stuff, new stories, new, you know, ideas. 
but uh, you know, hey, hey, I'm I'm happy with what we're getting. I'm not gonna complain. I just wish. I just it, it's time for new new stuff. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So there, there's my there's my uh, my soapbox Star Wars. Um, complaint, idea, uh, theory. Um, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Other than that, hey, I love it. More Star Wars. Give us it all the time, and uh, you know, let's just let's just see what else we get, right? Okay, this is gonna be a trick. Hang on, let me try to figure this out real fast because if his hand, he's got the big old long fingers. If his hand is gonna be like that, I'm gonna have his trigger finger like this. Let's see, if he's holding the gun like this, let's just draw it like he's normally holding the gun. Boom. Okay, so then, I'm gonna draw the gun like this. Right, it's gonna be facing this way. So now, <laughs> now I gotta think of how his big old long fingers are holding, or are flying over all these parts, right? Okay, so if that's gonna be there, we're gonna say, we're gonna say it kind of disappears and you can't see it as much, but the other fingers would be like this. And those are gonna be the ones that are kind of super long. Did you see that Star Wars re-released uh, the Greedo figure in in uh, um, the classic color? That's crazy, and that's good because some people can't get them. You know, I, I've got a I've got a few. Because I've been I've been buying the, the, the Black Series for a long time, um, so I'm glad they're doing it, but without the vest. So that's really cool that they're at least doing uh, something that you can get your your greedy little greedo little hands on. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. Um, let me see. I'm trying to look at his face too to see if. There we go, that's what I need, a little more ear, a little more ear, to try to make it look like him. A little closer here, that'll work. Something like this. Okay, I think that'll work. I say, let me erase some of these sketch lines real fast and get us going. Because uh, the first few lines I put down, I always try to just get the, the placement. That's really what I'm going for. Grab the pose, get the placement, get the thickness, you know, make sure that it looks fleshed out, so to speak. Then, as I get more confident, I start pressing harder. So, when I erase like this, because I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil line, I'm erasing the sketch lines, not the confidence lines. And that's how you live your life. Get rid of your sketchiness, keep your confidence, all right? All right, I think I'm ready. I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. I'm gonna retape my paper, make sure we're nice and tight here. Okay. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, so I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. It can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're gonna go. And if you wanna see more Star Wars and things like that, check out this playlist. Just check out the playlist in general, because I do so much that I might have already done what you wanna see. So go check it out and see what you see what you like. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Sharpie pen because I can control the line with much better. So for the small details of the face, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna draw his eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and draw them round. They are a little bumpy from his skin all the way around. So I'm gonna kind of do something like this, but still keep it round, you know? So it, it still has that that fleshy uh, edge look, but it's still round. And I'll worry about color later and stuff like that. And even even his lines, I kind of I kind of want to do a little bit, you know, as we're going, little stuff like this, but not all of them because uh, color will take care of a lot. Okay. So his mouth, I'm gonna do it down here like this, something like that. And some of his lines, I do have to put in. So like like. You know, this snout kind of comes out, but I can't draw a whole bunch of lines 
but I need to show that it is kind of longer and out more. But it's looking at you, so it's not not as uh, as 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 out as you would think. But I can do that by drawing lines up like this, just to kind of show that it's kind of coming out. Okay. So for his chin, I'm gonna bring this line like this, and also I'm I'm gonna kind of like that. I'm gonna kind of uh, what do you call it? Uh, bump it like for his, his skin texture like this and I'm gonna go ahead and draw the edges and then draw his ear because his ear is kind of out like that but I'm gonna draw these edges to show where I am and plus he's got quite a few bumps on his head you know just to kind of give us that that Greedo texture Okay, so let's go ahead and draw that ear so we can see where we are. And you can see what I'm talking about, how he's got those big old ear textures, you know? Okay, so I'm also gonna thicken up my outer edges like this. You don't have to do this, but when I switch over to this big Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So I'm trying to prepare for that. And also that means I wanna, I wanna make these eyes stand out more. By, by making them a little thicker too. I see it now, so now I want to do it. It's like, okay. I see what I want to fix, add, and make better. Let's do this ear too. I'm gonna go ahead and do his little edge like that. This one was a little higher. You know, I, I could have brought that down a little bit, but that's okay. We're just gonna bring it like that. We're gonna say the sides of his head kind of got in the way, okay? And again, I'm gonna thicken this up. And remember, if you're working with pencil, you don't have to do this. I'm just preparing for what this Sharpie is about to look like and how it's gonna look. So, you know, you, you do what makes you happy. Because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. All right, looking good. How's yours looking? Awesome. So his little ear holes, we're gonna, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna draw them like this. Draw like a, like a hollow little empty piece like that. I'm going to connect it here. And again, because he's looking right at you, it's hard to see that they're out. So, you know, we're just going to kind of accept that they're they're on his head, uh, but above his head. You know, kind of floating out. Like that's the, you, you know, you know, Greedo. I don't know why I feel like I have to explain it to you. That's why you're here. You know, Greedo. But well, for some reason, I feel like, well, let me explain why it's out like this. Because he has ears that are floating. You know. All right. So, for his little, his little mohawk head, I'm going to draw more of his little bumps. And I like, I like all these textures. This is really fun. This is a fun one to draw. And I kind of, I, I would love to do more textures and things like this, but sometimes it takes a long time, and I don't want to do a, an hour-long video, you know. Maybe, maybe later, you know. Right now, I'm just trying to give you guys some fun stuff to do on the weekend or something like that. I don't want to take up a whole day just by drawing a whole bunch of crazy little details like that. But it's fun to do. It's super fun. So maybe we'll do some other videos, or we can practice inking techniques and things like that to uh, to get it to look like super cool like this super super uh crazy all right okay i'm gonna walk away i'm gonna walk away because that looks super fun and i want to do more but i kind of walk. I, I need to stop okay so he's got his little his little onesie and that's uh part of his collar here so i'm gonna draw that collar i'm gonna come up here and do this okay now i can draw his vest Sorry, I'm trying to look for some good details. I'm looking at like like uh, like toy pictures and things like that, you know. So I'm trying to find. Uh, oops, I lost my picture. I'm trying to find uh, good enough pictures to 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 guide us. Okay, so I'm gonna draw his vest like that, and I'm gonna draw the edge of it here down to his sleeve, and he's got pockets. So let's go ahead and add some. Some uh, some big old 
uh, what do you call them? Um, cargo pockets, you know, big old cargo pants pockets. There's the edge here. Let's add another one here. Oh, oh, Greedo, don't you know cargo pants are, are out? They're not uh, the fresh look anymore. It's all about uh, the clean look. Oh, Greedo. And here I'm just adding a little bit of detail just to kind of make it, uh, you know, uh, used and lived in and, uh, and, and, and real, you know, I want to, I want to add some realness to it. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw his arm. Well, let's here, let's, let's finish off the, the, uh, vest up to his arm so you know where we are and I'm gonna go ahead and draw his arm here and then we'll draw the rest over there um, so sleeve like this and I'm trying to debate if we're going to draw the details on his arm there I, th I think so but I don't know I don't know because it might look better with color as opposed to me inking it in you know because it's not a black line. That's what I'm trying to say. It's it's a it's a Should we do it? Should we do it? Here, let's at least do this. This edge. Right? Because if we do it, we got to do the entire thing. That's how I'm feeling. So Hmm. I think it kind of needs it. I think it needs it. So let's do it. Let's just gonna. I'm just gonna draw light lines going across like that. Not even hard ones. I'm just gonna hit it light. Super simple. Okay. That way it's not a hard edge. It's just showing that it's the design is there. Okay. There you go. I, I like that. I can live with that. Okay. So for his hand, he's got them big old long fingers. So I'm gonna draw his hand like normal about right there same thing hand like normal to about right there and then I'm going to draw his extended fingers his big old long suction cup fingers they're not suction cup fingers but that's what I think of that's what I've always considered them as when I was a little kid I was like look at the big suction cups you have any cool things he can pick up with that there we go super simple crazy hand there you go I'm gonna clean that up a little bit all right simple simple crazy Greedo hand all right other side of the vest and these cargo pockets are a little more over the edge there so I'm gonna draw one like this I'm gonna draw the other one, same thing. A little over. Then I can draw the edge. So see, this is tucked in underneath him like that because he's got all his his uh, his his D and D dice and his playing cards and his his uh, Pokemon cards and stuff like that all in there because he's ready to he's ready to he's got to catch them all, you know. He's uh, a. <laughs> He's a Pokemon bounty hunter, you know? He's trying to catch them all. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna add a little bit of detail just to kind of flesh it out, so to speak. Again, just to kind of, you know, make it, make it come alive, kind of give it an edge, make it more than just a line, you know, make it, Make it look like uh, some kind of uh, wearable vest. Something he's, someone manufactured this. Someone made this, you know? Someone out there um, dressed all the bounty hunters or he shops at uh, Bounty Hunters R Us and that's where he buys his clothes. You know, so someone manufactured that, you know? Okay, so this hand is gonna be up holding his gun. So his elbow is gonna come down about right there. And then I'm gonna put his, his, his shoulder here 
into the Ben's crook of his arms. I'm gonna go back up. Now, before I draw anything further, I need to um, talk about those fingers. So they're wrapped over, and as long as they are, it's like this. As long as they are, they're gonna be over like this. Okay, so we're gonna have to start drawing those as well. So, if the hand is up here, here's the thumb, like this. And it's kind of wrapped over and out, like that. The uh, index finger is, we're gonna say that even though the index finger is long like that, because it's in the trigger guard, we're gonna say it's like this pointed right at you. So it's kind of like that, okay? So we'll say at least that much. But these fingers are way wrapped around like that, okay? There, so <laughs> they're they're super wrapped around. Okay, that's that's how you got to think of it. But I wanted to do that first, so I know where I can draw the edge of his coat or his his little jumper here. I can draw the edge of his hand, and now I can start to draw the gun too. Let's see if I can find a good picture of it. Uh, I got a backwards picture. Let's see what I can do here. Um, the trigger's gonna go up like that, and then. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna add some extra detail. I want his, I, his shoulder's a little too small. Let's go ahead and add it up here a little bit, like that. Perfect. Let's add some creases and folds. All right, looking good. Um, his hand, you can't really see much of the detail because of the way it's all bent over, so. We'll say that's the inside of the finger, kind of like that, but it's again pointed right at you so you're not seeing as much. Um, let's add some detail to the, the pistol here. Like his clothes, someone made this. Someone manufactures these weapons. So I'd like to kind of add some detail, like, you know, what would what would the uh, weapon manufacturer do? to make it uh, parts put together, you know? So in doing so, we just, lines like that is all you really need just to make it look like it was made. Someone you know, put it together, you know? Uh, okay, so here we go with the rest of them. So I'm gonna draw the rest of his jumper. He's got a belt on. So we're gonna say that it kind of goes in here. And then his belt. And he's got that old low slinging gun uh, holster. So we're gonna draw like a buckle right here. And this is gonna come down to his, his holster. And there's more of his belt. Coming through like this. All right. And let me see what detail I wanna add. I mean, we've gotta add some belt detail. We've gotta make it look like it's, again, manufactured. Someone made something, someone put it together. You know, it's gotta, gotta work somehow. And, oh, and you know what? Uh, his pants. Or his jumper. He's gotta put it on. He's gotta have a zipper. It's gotta go on somehow, right? So we'll just do that, again, to break up the uh, the um, negative space as well. All right, so now, again, we're just drawing pants. So we just gotta remember to draw his strap for uh, his holster there. So I'm just gonna draw his pants down like this because that's the nice thing about his, his, his onesie is that uh, it's all one piece, you know? Gonna come up here like this. Uh, legs coming down here. I'm gonna tuck it in just a little for his strap. Tuck it in like that. Let's go ahead and draw that strap. Push it back out. Just because it's it's binding the pants, it's it's pinching it in, you know. Gonna tuck his leg in. Super simple pants. Um, I just have to add some detail now. So his empty holster is like that. 
the edge of his pants is coming up here, tucked into his belt. Um, we're gonna draw the seam like we did there. Like that. Then I can go ahead and also add some, some pant lines, you know? I mean, it, it, it is a, a, a jumper, you know, but it's, it's also uh, material. So I like to add little creases and folds and pant lines. And we're gonna add the extra like we did there. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding it like this. And I'm kind of accenting a bend too, kind of like Hey, there is bend in the material, you know, so it's it's uh, it's it's moving. And like we did up there, I'm just gonna do quick lines, just boom, 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 all the way across. I'm not even, I'm barely even touching. But again, I'm just kind of adding that accent. And then color will take care of the rest of it, like that. So that's looking good. How's yours coming out? Man, mine is awesome. I love Greedo. Always have, you know, ever since I was a kid, one of the first few figures, you know? So I've got a special, Greedo holds a special place in my heart. Okay, <laughs> I just marked myself. Um, all right, so his his old shoes, his old Greedo shoes. Nothing crazy, nothing special. Just his old work boots. Do another one here so you see where it is, what we're drawing. that let me add some detail real fast just to kind of point out that there's a there's a toe like here like that so there's that toe this one's coming up this way you know just to kind of break it up and make it space boot you know something like that So there you go, I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Greedo, the bounty hunter from Star Wars. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.